Welcome to our Facebook page, our webinar, in partnership with Pretoria News. I just want to give a shout out to Pretoria News for this great opportunity to share with you and speak with you about how to become productive, especially during this lockdown. Comment in the section below and tell us where are you joining us from. And if you haven't liked the page yet, please do so and like the Pretoria News Facebook page where news never stop. Like I said, my name is Tulanem Pakele and it's a privilege to, to speak with you about how to become productive. I mean, truth be said, the lockdown has changed everything. That, it is the truth. Firstly, looking at the fact that around 3 billion human beings, today as we speak, they are locked somewhere in their homes. When we look at the economy, the GDP is dropping almost each and every single day. And when we look at homes, gender-based violences are increasing each and every single day. I read an article lately on News24 that gender-based violence has been receiving over 120,000 calls in just the first three weeks of the lockdown. And this is exactly what is happening due to the lockdown, due to the fact that many of us are not used to being isolated. You know, human beings are, are people that are used to, you know, living together. We are so community focused and the lockdown has really, really, really affected us in, in globally. So I want to speak to you guys about how to stay productive. Like I said, Comment below and tell us where you are joining us from. I'd love to give you a shout out. And when we look at the concept of time, looking at the fact that today as we speak, we are 47 days and 12 hours into the lockdown. And that simply amount to, you know, roughly 1,128 hours ever since the lockdown started. And for many people, uh, you know, this depends on how you, use the, you, well, how you use the time. For many people, this has been a time of frustration. And for some people, this has been a time of recreating thyself. And the reason why I'm saying that is because all of us are in lockdown. You know, there's a say that says we all have 24 hours. And I think right now, especially during lockdown, it actually matters the most that we all have the same time. Yes, we may not have the same resources, but we all have the same time. Looking at the fact that all of us have to be home. So the question is that, what do you do with so much time that you have? Now, the reason why many people, unfortunately, they're going through anxiety and all these other things is because we are not being taught on how to use time. You know, ever since you've been born more like me or you, you know, you have went to school, you, you went from kindergarten all the way to primary, all the way to high school, then to varsity, then maybe you went to, start, maybe you, you, you started working. And in all those years, someone else had to tell you on how to use your time. And right now, as we speak, you are excited expected to use time and that is not an easy thing because not everyone understands how to use time and that's why however that we go through through this whole thing whether we go through this thing better or better it depends entirely on how we utilized the time it all depends on us nothing else or nothing more it all depends on us on how we use this time you know why because time is the resources. Time is like money. Time is like something that you are given in your hand. You have to use it. And that's why I want us to dwell into this and speak about how do we actually use time. I mean like time, if it's not used in many cases, it tends to use you. And in many cases, it's in a negative way. Hence, I believe in the saying that idle hands are the devil's workshop. Idle lips are his mouthpiece, and an idle mind can never create anything. It can only disrupt. And that's why we have to speak about why we must be productive. Why is it so key for us to be productive? Why is it so important? Firstly, I think the one thing that we have to be able to be productive for is our health, because our health matters. 
You know, like the human, the human body and the, and the human brain has a, a very way of functioning. An example. Every single time that me and you achieve any task, every time we do anything, we get rewarded with this thing, with this neurotransmitter called dopamine. And more than ever today, because many of us are in lockdown and we are not operating you know, in an organization that equips us to get work done, many of us, unfortunately, truly speaking, we are suffering from what I believe is called dopamine deficiency. You know, we are suffering from a lack of not completing tasks. And because of that, we are, we, are, we are going through anxiety. We are going through, you know, low motivation and drive. We are going through, you know, uh, lack of inspiration. And that is because we are not getting work done. And that's why it's so key to be able to understand that we have to become productive, not only for the sake of getting the work done, but for the sake of our health, because we are healthier when we get the job done. You know what I'm saying? Like we are happier when we get the job done. We get the job done because it's good for us. And that's why we have to create a system on how do we become productive during lockdown. The second reason why we must be productive is because of the economy. For those of you who can work at home, like me, please do that. Work from home. Do whatever that you can because the economy still depends on you. The economy did not, did not stop simply because, you know, COVID-19 is around the block. No, we still have to make sure the economy is growing regardless of the situation that we are in. And hence, it's very key to be able to stay working if you can. Please work from home. The last reason why we must stay productive is simply because when you become productive, you, have, you feel like your life is on purpose. You feel like your life matters. You know, you, you wake up and you have tasks to do and when you accomplish them and you, you get a rush of, of dopamine, that makes you to feel good. And that's why you have to create a plan on how to become productive. Whether, you know, you, you stay in a rural area or in town, wherever you are based in the whole country, you have to make a plan on how to become productive. It's good for your health, like I said. It's good for the economy. And most importantly, it gives you a sense of purpose because you wake up and you accomplish a task. And when you sleep, you feel good about yourself. I want to speak a little bit about dopamine before I move on to the skills that I think you have to learn during this lockdown. You see, this dopamine that I'm referring to, it's a neurotransmitter which is actually a good feel chemical. Every single time when you achieve anything, for example, if I were to ask you a question right now and say, can you please list five things that you've done yesterday and that you have accomplished, and then you list them down, okay? And then you tick them that you have done them. Once you tick them, you're gonna start to feel good. And that feel good is the rush of Dopamine. Why is that important? That is very key because when you run out of dopamine, you start to feel fatigue. Like I said, some of the symptoms that people have when they have a dopamine deficiency. And that's why it's so key and it's so important for us to understand this neurotransmitter that due to the fact that many of us, unfortunately, we are not in a working environment and also many of us, unfortunately, we have not been able to access some of the things that we use to, to, to trigger our dopamine. You know, we, we tend to feel like we are going insane. I was speaking to a friend of mine, you know, a, a couple of weeks back, and I was just checking up on him, and we were speaking about, you know, the lockdown on how everything has been. And as we were speaking, this friend of mine said to me that he has been going insane. And that might be you. That might be you because many of us, we are used to being in an environment whereby we are always accomplishing a task. But because of the lockdown, unfortunately, the only thing that we have to do, which I believe that it is so key, is to be able to create that system whereby we are accomplishing tasks by ourselves. Because if we don't do that, we're going to go through a dopamine deficiency. Hence, each and every single day is vital 
to have a plan on how your day will look like. Now, what are some of the skills that I think people can learn during uh, the lockdown? Various skills. Obviously, the skills will depend on, you know, your goal in life, you know. But, I mean, like I was speaking to a friend of mine who started learning how to trade stocks a few weeks back and then we were speaking about this thing like two weeks two 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 days back and he told me that he just made twenty thousand i was like wow good for you and that's exactly what happens when we utilize this time effectively one can learn about finance about personal finance or maybe you can learn about your own mindset about how to have a strong mindset or maybe you can learn about cooking i don't know whatever the skill it can be List it down and start to have a plan on how to improve yourself. Because let's be honest, this whole lockdown thing at some point is going to end. It is just a fact. But however it ends, whenever it ends, the people on the other side who will be better or better are those that made the choice. And that's why this matters. Because me and you today, right now, we are making choices. We are deciding how we want to come out, out of this whole thing. Are we going to come out complaining about almost everything? Or are we going to come, come out the best version of ourselves? Because I feel like personally that this time is a time whereby we are allowed to recreate ourselves. You know why we are, we are allowed? To, because in many cases, when we are at work, we are not able to have enough time to do whatever that we want to do. That's why I feel like anyone who is, who, who is intentional about their time, this is the time to literally go back into your own habits and then ask yourself, what are some of my bad habits? Yes, what are some of your bad habits? Because you do have some bad habits. But unfortunately, if you don't work on those bad habits, those bad habits will never leave you. And that's why this is their time for me and you to be intentional with the time that we have. To look at ourselves and ask ourselves, what are some of the habits that we have? And then once we have identified those habits, then we start to work on them. Because if we don't change them while we are at home and we have the entire time to ourselves, then what makes us think we actually want to change them? You see, most people will rather wait for the new year to end and then write down what they call New Year's resolution. I mean, like, that doesn't, even make, that doesn't even make sense. Well, this time, during lockdown, this is the time to sit down and write down resolutions, which are goals, which are the things that, which, are the, which, which is the person that you want to become in the lockdown. We don't know how long this thing will, 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 will be. If it ends in August or it ends next week, whatever, or if it ends next year, at least by then, you have used the time intentionally other than just binging on netflix or binging on all these other soapies or you know or just being on social media each and every single day because this is the time that will define who you will be once all this is done because let's be honest this at some point it will be finished and guess what the market will open businesses will start operating and guess who's going to be who the business are, are going to be looking after the people that have been improving themselves during this time not the people who have been complaining about almost each and every single thing now don't get me wrong obviously i'm not saying we have to be quiet and not speak out if we have to but we have to be honest to say in the process of waiting we have to use this time effectively we have to use this time to its ultimate best because this is the time that we have me and you we have this time to be able to do whatever that we can one thing that i think would be great that you can do is maybe read a book or take an online class let's use this time effectively now the question now is that how do we stay productive the first thing that i believe that we have to do is to write down what i call a me after lockdown statement okay you can write this down on a piece of paper you can write this down anyway it's a statement that will give you you know an understanding of where you are going why is this so key? This is in the, in the, in the words of the great Steve, Stephen Covey who once said, always start with the end in mind. Meaning that if we don't know where we are going, the chances that 
whatever, wherever that we are going today might not actually be where exactly where we are, we are going because we don't have the picture in mind. And that's why we have to start with the end in mind. How do we do this? This is just a statement which explains how you'll be when lockdown is finished. What type of a person will you be? You know, what type of habits will you have? You know, what type of what type of energy will you carry once all this will be done? Because this, at some point, it will truly be done. A statement, maybe I can just uh, read for your mind so that you can have a picture of what I'm speaking about. Uh, this is my statement, okay? Lockdown just ended today and I am, I am better than I was the day it started, okay? So it explains, you know, the day when lockdown ends, that lockdown has just ended today and I am better than the day I was. What's here, here is why. The first thing, I am 70% into writing my book. I am 80%, 80% of my weekly meals are fully plant-based. I attended a financial course to understand my, financial, my personal finance like an accountant. I saved 20,000. I have read and finished the book of Proverbs and Acts twice. I have drank 20 liters of water in four to five months. You get the, the picture, right? So the statement has to be able to speak about you during that time when the lockdown ended. And how will you, how will you use this statement? Once you have this statement, then you're going to be able to look at this statement and say this thing out loud almost each and every single day. Because when you speak these things out every single day, then your brain starts to think about them and actually working on them. Because if the brain doesn't know where it's going, the brain will not go anywhere. And that's why it is so powerful to understand what Stephen Covey was saying when he said, we have to begin with the end in mind. Let me just read it, read it to you some more, some, more, some, more, some of the stuff. I exercised four to five times a week. I meditate for a minimum of, of 10 minutes. I finished reading 10 books. Now, if you look at, 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 at how I read this, it sounds like it's in the presence, right? And the reason why is because when you read it in the presence, your body feels like you have actually accomplished that. And once your body feels that, then you start to have the energy of a finisher, the energy that you have accomplished this task. And that's why this is so key. And that's why this is so, 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 so important. In fact, without this statement, like none of this thing will actually work because it's when we implement that things start to change. Okay, I'm going to explain this one more time. It's called, it's, it's called me after lockdown. You write down all the things that you want to be able to have, all the habits, each and every single thing you want to acquire in literally after lockdown. Then once we have that statement, then we start to have the game plan. The game plan can be, how are we going to get that book done, for example? Or how are we going to drink that 25 liters of water in the, in the whole of lockdown, okay? Or how are you going to save that 20,000? But we have to in the end and then come back in the beginning. And that's why that is very key. The second thing that we have to do that I believe that you can apply in order to stay, you know, to, to stay productive is to use what is called a habit tracker. Uh, you probably will find a link down there in the comment, you know, that, that, that explains what actually a habit tracker is. Uh, but if I were to explain it, for some of you guys who love to use your apps, perfectly fine. You can use these many apps online that get you to develop new habits. Uh, one of the apps can be Tick Tick or it can be, Hab you know, Habitica or Balance or Done. There's many apps online that can help you. But if you're like old school and you still want to write your stuff down, then there's a link in the comments right now that will help you to be able to stay on track or stay productive. And literally, a habit tracker, it's a document or it's a tool that helps you to, 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 to keep track of your habits. Remember, me and you are habits, okay? We are a collection of habits that we learn from our parents, from our society, and from people that have, surround, uh, have surrounded us all this time. So maybe you have some bad habits. It's okay. You know, there's the, the, not to say there's nothing wrong with that, but we have to acknowledge the fact that we have the bad habits and then start to have a plan in order to change those habits. And we change that by having a habit, uh, a habit tracker, okay? And that is a second tool that I think that if you can utilize each and every single day, it will help you to really, really have results once this will be done. And let's be honest, at some point, 
this will be done. The last principle which is also very key to apply is what we call a time block, okay? So a time block is precisely blocking time. You know, like looking at your day from morning all the way till evening on what am I gonna be doing on each and every single hour throughout the whole day. Those are the three principles that I believe that if we can incorporate, one, the habit tracker, two, the time block, and then the last one being the me after lockdown, that once we can intertwine and use, you know, co collectively, there's no way that you cannot be productive. And that's why I think that it is very key. Otherwise, our brain is going to end up being idle. And an idle brain can never achieve or create anything. It can only, de it can only destruct. And that's why this is so key. Is so key not only for yourself but for the people at, at your home, for the people that you are with, you know, because we all don't like hanging around people who are not productive because they have low energy, and that's why we truly have to stay productive. We have to stay productive with each and every single thing that we have. It is good for our health, it is good for the economy, and it is good for the people at large. So share with me down there in the comments. If you have any question, um, share with them right now and then, you know, we'll then look at, at them if you have any question. This is not the time to be isolated and to be by yourself. This is the time to really understand that this will end and it's only a matter of time and when it ends everything will go back to normal and all of us will then be able to go back into the market and if you have any question please post it below and um Okay, so I see a question saying a to-do list. Yes, most definitely, you must have a to-do list, okay? It's very key to have a to-do list because you want to be able to control the thoughts that run into your brain on a daily basis. You want to make sure that each and every single day, you know, you are ahead of your brain because if you just let your brain idle, your brain is going to end up just, you know, doing crazy, crazy stuff. You want to avoid that and that's why it's so key to really have a to-do list. You need to have that almost each and every single day, like every single day. Okay. Um, I just want to thank Pretoria News for this opportunity. And if there's no more any other question, we're going to keep that as short as we can. And... My prayer to you that stay productive, stay on your A game, stay doing exactly what you have to do. Uh, this is a choice that we all have. You know, there's two people that are going to walk out of this lockdown. You know, there's either a victor or a victim. And many people, unfortunately, they're going to be a victim because they don't know how to use their own time. You know, they don't know how to utilize their own time. You know, but I call you to please join us, those who are becoming like victor. Okay? A victor who decided how to use his own time, who decided that he will not just succumb just to any pressure simply because, you know, circumstances are, are the way they are. But he will look at, at, him, at, at himself and acknowledge the fact that time is his greatest resource and utilize that time for the greatest, for the greatest good of himself. So, I wish you all the best. All right, there's a question right there. I'm just going to read it. How do we deal with people around us that are constantly negative and refuse to be helped and get you done when you are trying to be the best you can? That's a great question. Firstly, I think it, it, it depends on, 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 on if those people are friends or family. Uh, obviously, if they are family, you know, we, we have to learn how to influence them, okay? Um, in many cases, people don't go our... In, don't, don't, don't hear what, what we are saying because we impose on them, okay? Like we tell them what to do because we think they must listen to us. 
and that is not the whole that's not necessarily true okay so what we have to do is that we have to learn how to influence them okay so what we have to do is that we have to influence their habit by doing some of this especially if these people are family because we want them around they soon we can just cut them off okay like if they're friends that you know we just okay if they're friends okay like okay because but if it's family it's a different story all all together okay so if it's if it's if it's family we have to influence them we have to try our level best let's say for example that you want maybe it's your young sister okay and they are negative but you want them to be able to 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 be positive one you have to challenge them head on if they keep on being negative you have to tell them straight to their face that hey listen you are negative and you need to change that okay that's the first way then what do we do next what we have to do next is to maybe somewhere somehow get them a gift okay buy them like a book okay something that will get them to become positive we have to challenge them with positive energy that will slowly and surely change their mindset uh, i hope i i answered you chelsea Okay, I think that's it from me. I just want to thank you for watching and I want to thank you for, I want to thank Pretoria News for this opportunity uh, to speak to you on their platform on how to become productive. And I hope you learned a few things or two. And uh, remember that it's all on you, okay? However that we get out of this thing called lockdown, it's all on you. Whether you walk out of this thing called lockdown still with the same mindset, it's your fault, okay? Whether you walk out and you feel like a champion, it is still your fault and well done. And I want to thank Pretoria News. And if you haven't liked the page of Pretoria News, please do that right now. Like the page and God bless.